Hello and welcome to the Excel VBA object series. In this video we'll start working with the chart object and we're gonna work first with a chart sheet and in case you're not familiar with chart sheets you can insert a chart sheet going here down to sheet insert and instead of inserting a worksheet you can actually insert a chart here. So we're gonna see how to do that with VBA while in the next video we'll work with embedded charts. But all the properties and methods of the chart object that we're going to see here will apply actually later to embedded charts as well. The only difference is for embedded charts you use the chart object object. So let's go to the Visual Basic Editor, insert a module, and this will be like chart object, something like that. And first of all we're going to declare a variable, and that's the variable we're going to be working with as my chart as a chart and again that will refer to a chart sheet I'm saying chart sheet but in Excel you just say charts and for an embedded chart that would be instead of chart it would be chart object so a chart object object as I said earlier we will see that in the next video so here we're gonna just declare it as a chart and now we can add a chart sheet simply as we add a sheet or a worksheet so for a, for a worksheet we were doing sheets.add so for charts, we can simply do charts.add, and that will add a chart sheet or a chart. And here we can also specify where we want to add the chart, so before or after which sheet. If we don't specify anything here, it will add it by default before the active sheet. So let's keep it like that for now. And if I run the macro, as you see, it has added a chart sheet, which is actually empty now, because we don't even have any data. So let me add some data here. And that could be working hours, so the number of hours of different uh, work shifts, for example, let's do it like that. It could be a line chart or a bar chart. So to do that, we have to refer to the active chart. We can do that setting my chart equals active chart, not active sheet, active, active chart. And now with my chart, we can apply any of the properties and methods of the chart object. As you see here, we have a long list of different properties and methods, and we can specify, first of all, the chart type. So let me show you here in my blog Excel macro class the chart type enumeration. As you see here, there are different types of, uh, of chart types, and you can either use the name or the value. We're going to have a simple line chart or or actually we could have a column chart. So if I say uh, chart type equals 51, so XL column cluster, this first one here, and then we need to add some data. So and we're going to use this data here in range A1 through A5. So we do that with set source data, that's the one here, this method, which accepts, as you see, the source as a range. And the range, we're going to specify the sheet, which is sheet1, right, using the sheet object name. And the range A1 through A5, including the header or the series title. Now we can end the with statement here, and we can do many other things, but let's for now let's see what happens. Um, I'm going to comment this line here because we have already added uh, the chart. Now if I run the macro you see we've got here already uh, the data represented. We have a chart title by default, we have a series legend here by default and so on. So now let's see how we can format the chart. Um, so and for that let me add another module and here we're gonna call it format chart. And again, I'm going to reuse this because we're going to also use a variable, so we don't need that, of course. Um, so my chart is going gonna, is gonna to be the active chart, and now with my chart, we can change several things. So for example, the chart title, the chart title, the text, and um, I think is, uh, let's call it, this is working hours for each shift. So there are four shifts and, and we see the hours for each shift. That's going to be the chart title. 
No, we could also skip the title completely with has title set to false, right? If I don't change it, it's by default it's going to be true. And as you see, we have many other has uh, possibilities, has legend, has access, has table data. I'm going to uh, set has legend to false because I don't need, we don't need a legend, right? We don't need this this here because we just have we just have one series of data now if we end the with statement here and we run the macro we see that it has changed the title now it has updated the title and it has removed the the legend now we're going to format the axis and for that we will have another with here my chart dot uh, axis with e and we're going to target first the uh, horizontal axis, that's ax Excel category. And if we want to target the vertical axis, that would be Excel value for vertical axis. And the first thing we'll do is has a title and we'll set that to true, yes. And then we're going to have the axis title, the text is going to be working shift. We can also here say uh, has major or minor grid lines, but we're gonna set that to false. It, that it's false by default, but we could change it. We could have major or minor grid lines, and let's end the with the statement here and run it and see what we've changed. As you see here, we've added uh, axis title here, and in the same way, we could target the vertical axis. And we could format several other things. So let me show you what else we can uh, yet format. And for that, I'm going to um, insert another module. And now we're going to format the chart area. So let's say format area. And again, we're going to use the same um, variable here, uh, my chart. And we could set, before we've set that to active chart, but we could also specify the chart we want to target, charts, uh, and the name of the chart. Usually by default is chart one, chart two, and so on. Or we could say simply charts one, the first chart. We only have one chart here. So now with my chart, some of the other things we can format uh, is the area, the plot area, and the series collection. And to understand which part is which, I'm going to show you a picture from, from the Excel VBA objects guide. As you see here, we have three uh, main components. The chart area is all around the chart, uh, you see. Here, the plot area is what is already inside, and then we have the series collection. In this case, we only have one series, as in our example, uh, and we can target each of those components or objects and change uh, whatever we want. So for example, chart area, and here we could change the interior color, for example, color, and let's make it, um, I don't know, blue or something like that. We could also, um, so let me actually do with chart area, we're gonna change um, a few things. We could also change the borders, uh, color, or any other properties. You know, we can have it red, and so on. Let me end the with statement here. We can also change um, the plot area, and again, yeah, we can change the color. Let's make it yellow. Well, if we make the 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 interior blue here, we could also change the font color to white and yeah you can use color or you can use color index to have more colors or rgb colors um, and the other thing we can change is the series collection and you need to specify which series and we only have one series here um, that's that's just you know one series if we would have more numbers here that would be a second series a third series and so on right so we have only one series of uh, data and with that we can also change the color for example but here it works differently you need to target the format and then fill or line and this and this works as with the shape object that we've seen in in earlier videos so with fill you can uh, target the four color 
and make it RGB. And here for simplicity, let's make RGB again uh, green or some basic color, right? Now, let me just end the width statement here. If we run this, you're gonna see, a, and there's a mistake here, it's just border, not borders. And I just noticed I missed here the interior or the object you want to target. Yeah, in this case, uh, it could be the interior, it could be the border or the font. So if we run it now, you see we've got different colors for the chart area, which is blue. We've also changed the, the font color. Uh, so everything is white. The, the access title and the numbers are white. Then we've changed the plot area to yellow and then the series, the series collection to green. And we could format many other properties of the chart area, the plot area or the series collection. Now let's see how to select, copy, and delete charts. So I will call it copy charts. And of course, to select a chart, as you, as you can imagine, is as simple as charts one or the name of the chart. In this case, uh, is chart one dot select and this is going to select if we are in any other tab and this works in the same way that we do with sheets or worksheets right if we just run this it's going to select and move to this tab and it's actually going to select the chart as you see everything is selected if we are in that um, in that uh, page and it's not selected it's going to select everything we could also activate the chart sheet now, the other thing we can do is we can copy, and as we did with sheets, we can paste it um, in the same workbook, and that would be simply saying after sheet one, for example, um, if we run it, you see we have copy now here chart, a second version of our chart after the sheet after sheet one. Or we could also do it, uh, we could also copy it, of course, to other workbook. For that, we would just specify here workbooks, the name of the workbook, let's say book two. And, and the sheet or after the active sheet or whatever, yeah, that would copy uh, the chart to other workbooks. So let me put that. So the first thing we did here is to, to select a chart. Then we have copy. And the first time we've, we copy within the same workbook, here it is. And, and this other line of code would copy to a second workbook. So if we had a second workbook open, let me just open a second workbook. And, and this is, as you see, is called book two, but it's not saved yet. And let me comment this. So if I run now this, you see it has copied that to the other workbook. And using the index instead of the name because, because the workbook was not saved. Now we can delete the chart. So if we want to delete the chart in this workbook, which is the second workbook, we would say workbooks to charts one delete. And that would delete the, the workbook. Let me comment that. That would delete the workbook that we just copy. You see, now this is the second workbook, and we don't have the chart anymore. So those are some of the operations you can do with charts. Now, the last thing I want to cover in this video is chart events. So charts also have events. So if we go here, and let me actually close the second workbook, because we, we don't need it anymore. If you come here to one of the chart uh, sheets, this one or this one, and you double click, you see we can select here chart and we have a number of events on the, on the right hand side here. These events are very similar to the events for a worksheet. So we have by default the activate event and the corresponding event procedure. So we can have a macro here, let's say um, chart or chart sheet was activated and this will trigger when we activate chart one, yeah? Because this is in the chart one uh, sheet. 
So if we come from any other sheet to chart one, it will uh, it will run this macro. Now we have several other events here. Uh, we also have the deactivate, which is actually the opposite to activate. We also have the select. The select is different uh, than activate in the way that we need to select the chart. Let me change the message box. Chart, now chart, not chart sheet, chart has been, has been selected, uh, for example. So if we come from other uh, sheet here, nothing happens. But in the moment we select the chart, then it, it runs. Right, now it has been selected. You see, now we have, um, we also have before double click and before right click on the chart events, and then we have uh, the mouse related events so mouse down, mouse up, and mouse move. On that, and as you see here, mouse move can get the uh, coordinates x and y of the position in the chart that can be that can be interesting in some scenarios so for example let's say when we move the mouse over the chart we're going to get that in the status bar for example application status bar x and y so that you see uh, what happens here. Now, that event is already there, so if we go back to our chart, you see, you see down here in the status bar, the coordinates, if I go up to the left, it's gonna be almost, it's gonna be zero, zero, right? And then as I move over the chart, it's gonna give me the, um, the coordinates, and that could be, and that could be used to insert a shape whenever we click or, you know, there are many possibilities with this, uh, these events. The mouse move and then the mouse down and mouse up. Or we could also combine this with before click or before right click. So those are the chart events. Now, in the next video, we're going to see how to work with embedded charts. Embedded charts are those that you insert in a, in a normal worksheet, right? So you go here and insert the chart. So the way to add the chart is a bit different, but then working with the chart is quite similar to what we've seen. So stay tuned for the next video and thanks for watching.